So this is it. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab. This is what we've been talking about in the blog. This is what's got the uh, internet wheel buzzing a little bit. Has been the iPad killer. I think that's a little bit of an unfair comparison. Um, we were debating this last night, sitting on the sofa watching TV. Is it an iPad killer? I don't think so necessarily. I mean, you know, the iPad's a 9.7 inch, um, a 9.7 inch device. This is seven inch tablet. Uh, this is 1024 by 600, not 1024 by 768. It's a lot lighter than the uh, the iPad, but then again, it's half the size. So you know, you, you might expect that. They've both got one gigahertz processor. Uh, this has some killer features: camera, camera, uh, two cameras. There's three mega, a uh, three megapixel on the back, one megapixel on the front. Uh, it's running Android 2.2. In terms of applications, let's have a look. Um, on the home screen we have phone, video, maps, YouTube, market. Uh, we have a daily briefing. Uh, plenty of room for your downloaded applications. You can see my kids have been having a little go. They've loaded all sorts of games. And this is an interesting thing that I've noticed about um, this scale of device. Um, some of the applications don't scale too well. Um, which one? I think it was um, this one. If you look, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Okay, you now you may say, okay, that's down to the developer, but is it really? You know, this is rendered, um, this particular application is rendered un unusable, unplayable. I best not put it on for too long. Let's have a closer look at the device. This is in landscape mode. These are the buttons. The menu button. The home button. The back button. And the search button. Probably one of the key areas will be the applications, but here. And in here, if I zoom in a little closer, we should be able to see some of the default applications that come with it. Ignore the games at the bottom, those are the ones that the kids put on. But we have a navigation application, as you can see here, news and weather, the phone that we talked about, the reading application, the um, Samsung App Store. Uh, although there aren't many applications in there at the moment the music application, voice dialer, all the typical sort of things that you might expect um, to find on a device like this here are some applications that have been downloaded this is from the Android store So let's take a look at uh, YouTube app. Okay, let's do a search. Let's do a search for Shiny Sharon. Sorry about the, uh, the glare, if you can see that. My partner recently had a... Oh, no, that's interesting, it's gone upside down. My partner recently had a hair shaved off for charity. You can check her out at sharonsayer.wordpress.com Okay, let's stop that. I'm quite sure why that's turned upside down. That's interesting. And of course the web browser. Ah, excellent. And there we have it.
the Samsung Galaxy Tab being used as a phone. Now I can actually see times when you might use this. Some people have said it's a bit gimmicky, you know, you can't really use this as a phone. Uh, imagine it with a Bluetooth headset or you're travelling on the train, you know, this has run out. Um, but now at least you can make that emergency phone call so that you're not actually walking home from the station. Believe me, that's happened to me. Now this has a slot here where you can put your SIM for your 3G network. Uh, so apparently you can use it as a phone. Put my SIM in earlier, so let's give it a go. Um, let me just phone someone. Now this is live. Now they don't know I'm going to phone them. So they may not actually answer the phone at all. Okay. I'll put them on, shall I put them on loudspeaker? They're going to go on loudspeaker. Now this is a normal phone. Obviously, due to the nature of the screen and the, the resolution and whatnot, um, some applications do appear to have some scaling issues. I'm sure that's probably down to the de individual developers, but I mean the problems are there. Um, when you're using it in landscape mode, there is a tendency to rest the thumb on the top of the screen. Uh, however, that's the power button, and we, we have found that we've inadvertently turned the device off just by holding it in landscape mode. You can see it's resting there now, my thumb's on the power button. It only takes a small press to switch it off. Uh, one of the issues I have with it is in low light it's not easy to see the buttons at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see them now. Um, they do light up once you've actually activated one of them but you can't actually see where they are in a low light condition. Certainly I can't. With regard to it being an iPad killer it's a bit of an unfair comparison. I mean, um, I see it more as a complementary device, a bit like the Kindle, you know? They're a similar size device. Okay, this is six inches and this is seven inches if the one inch makes the difference to you. So, summing up, Samsung Galaxy Tab. It's a very nice device. I certainly wouldn't mind one for Christmas if anyone's watching. Thank you very much. Got to be uh, okay. With regard to, I can't even get the word out. They say you can use this as a phone. Um, should I have a phone? Um, now this is also Bluetooth, Bluetooth free. So if we pull up an image, we should be able to see if we can. Print. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> Print was not Bluetooth. Oh, yeah.